So number 15, the last question in paper two, the 2023 advanced tyre. We've got eight marks here for it. It's a McLaurin's expansion one. What does it say? So you've got the first derivative of this function here, and it says the first term in the expansion of f of x is one. Now in the expansion you would have, it would be f of zero plus f dashed at zero of x plus f double dashed at zero of x squared over two factorial, because that's over one factorial and zero factorial, they don't matter, plus etc. So the first term being one means this then. It means that f of zero equals one. What was it say again? So from that, find the Merclons expansion up to the terms in x squared. So we know that one. We'll get that one just by popping zero into it, and we'll get that just by differentiating this. So if you differentiate that again, and it doesn't matter what it comes to because I don't need to use it again, I just need to pop a zero into it. So it'll be, it's a quotient, one plus x plus one to the power four all squared. No, it's going to look nasty. Differentiate the top, at least that's just a one. One plus x plus one to the power four. Minus, leave the top alone, x plus one. Now differentiate the bottom, this part in here where the one goes. So that'll just be four times x plus one to the three. Now, you don't actually need that. It's simplified. You just want to know what f double dashed at zero is. So just put all, all those x's to zero. So nothing in one makes one. One to the four is still one, so that's a two. So that just becomes one times two. That's just a one. That's going to be just a one. So that's a four. One times a four. That's a zero. One. One and one. I'll just put it down. Two. So in the end, you've got two take away four is negative two. That's negative a half. And that first one, f dashed at zero is going to be, that's just going to be one over one plus one to the four is one, which is a half. So there's the parts you need. You've got these three parts. So the McLaurin expansion will be, so f of x will be, I'll just put it down again, f of zero, which I know, plus f dashed at zero, which I know, over one factorial if you want, plus f double dashed at zero, which I know, but over two factorial, and I don't need any more because it doesn't ask for more. So that's going to be one plus a half x minus a half over two factorial x squared. So finally, f of x will be one plus a half x minus two factorial is only two, a quarter of x squared. And we're quite a bit there. We needed that one, and we needed that one. Now in part B it says use the substitution u equals x plus 1 squared to find this. Now I've just shifted that all the way over there so I could use this space, which is of course exactly f dashed. So this is exactly what you would do if you wanted to rediscover the function f of x. And there's an initial condition as well. So, carrying that substitution, well, du will be, if that's x squared, 2x plus 1 dx. So this is going to turn into the integral of, and that'll be 1 plus, that's power 4, that'll be u squared. Now, I, need, I needed two of them, but I've only got the one, so it'll be a half of this. It's a half of du over u, and you should recognise that. That's inverse tan, so it's a half inverse tan of u, better put in brackets, plus c. So that's going to be a half of the inverse tan of, just popping that back in, x plus 1 squared plus c. So I think for this part here, that was the end of it. It said, determine the expression for f of x. Well, that is f of x, because f of x would have been that integral. f of x is the integral of x plus 1, because that was f dashed x that gave that, over 1 plus x plus 1 to the power 4 dx. 
So it will be equal to a half of inverse tan of x plus 1 squared plus c. And now you can use the initial additions. f of 0 is 1. So when x is 0, that's 1. So that will be a half of inverse tan of 0 plus 1 squared plus c. So 1 squared is 1. Inverse tan of 1 is pi upon 4. So that's a half times pi upon 4 plus c. I'm just running out of room a bit here. Which means that c is going to be 1 minus pi upon 8. And unfortunately I've just run out of room so I'll have to pop over here to finish off. So f of x is equal to a half inverse tan x plus 1 squared plus, just leave it like that, or you could put it into a single fraction, 1 minus pi upon 8.